Milk. Crate. Marauder. Anyway, uh, you know who you know who is stopping by today on the show. In addition to uh, the Mike Walker game and uh, the FMEs, we have to give out. In fact, Robin, you're up for a Vanguard Award as well. Am I? Yes, you are. A Vanguard Award. A Vanguard Award. Best Robin Quivers moment. It's uh, wow, unbelievable. There's so I many. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. What did I do? You did a lot. <laughs> you got an unbelievable award oh, coming no. your way. <laughs> you might want to leave the room when you're I in this one. Start on my, I didn't even know I should write an acceptance speech. <laughs> well, Pat's going to come in. Pat Cooper is a comedian who I, I give carte blanche on the show. I let him come in all the time, but he still seems to hate me. Oh, really? Some guy sent me a um, uh, some kind of documentary, docu or documentary or something on me. And Pat, I thought Pat was going to be the one guy who stood up for me. Hey, Pat, I think. Come in, here. come in here, come in here and sit down. No one can hear you. Good morning. <laughs> He's still screaming about my Jeopardy appearance. All right, Catskill Mountains. Pat, you know, I, there's nobody on this planet who loves you more. Good morning, Pat. It's always great to see you. But, now let me ask you a question. Right, sit down, sit down. No, it, no, it's not a good morning. Did you, or did you not say any time I want to come on this show, I can walk off the street? Did yes, you say that? that is true. Have I ever done it? No. Why am I worked three weeks to get on this show? What? Yep, you heard me. Three, Three weeks, weeks ago, I called you. Really? I demand respect. Really? You're damn right. <laughs> but I always have I don't need, No, no, no. No, but we have comedians who call all the time. I don't want to know if I'm We don't even I'm let them in here. I'm special. You are. I'm not in the A company. But you know I always have you on. I'm not in the A company. I'm in the O company. Oh, we always have you walk in a room, they go, ooh, here he is. <laughs> but Pat, let me ask you something. How are you, Jackie? Where are you? Jackie. You're doing a great job. Well, I'm watching this documentary where they really, the documentary maker obviously hated my guts. Yeah. Who? Uh, it was something that, that oh. uh, a bunch of people participated in it. I'm watching this thing. And I go, oh, then they come, Pat Cooper's going to say something. They must have interviewed you for this thing. This you, Italian thing? You, no, I don't know if it was Italian or what, but the guy was slanted. He even admits he don't like me, but he's going to do a, uh, like a, I don't know, I guess it's a video. Did I put you down? Are you going to start with that? Oh, my God, you killed me. Where? I mean, you want to hear it? I got it. Yeah. I found it. Pat, was, wait, 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 wait. was this 1937? No, this is recently. It just came out. I never put you down. You know, my where. Wait, listen to this. I, I, you, listen to me. I'm on here. I, I, oh, my my I got to bust your balls. <laughs> I, was like, I think you hate me. I think you hate me. First of all, if I hated you, I'd be here more often. Really? Absolutely. All right, but listen to this. Tell me if you don't hate me okay. after you listen to this. All right. So they're bashing First me on this thing. Tell me when this was, because I had a big fight with you one time. 19, 19, the the, the uh, copyright is 1997. So it's this year. No, that means they might have made it in 1997. Oh, all right. It I think it's 1994 when you were a virgin. I think it was recently, though. I really do. Seriously. Is that why you bought me? I need to bust my phone. No, 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 no. You, no. You, you're promoting something, right? No, I, I got to you. No, no, no. You, no, 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 no. you don't want me to bring this up? I don't promote. You don't want me to bring this up? You anything you want, because I defend myself. All right, all right. Just listen to this, though. You tell me. I think you hate me more <laughs> than Freddie Roman. <laughs> Freddie <laughs> Roman hates himself. All right, here, listen to this. <laughs> oh, we'll get to Freddie in a minute. Check, check this out. The world of entertainment don't respect him. He is a radio man, basically. Okay, he's a shock jock. Don't make any, he's not a big giant talented guy out there. He's at the clock cable of the movie thing. He is what he is. He's a shock jock. If that's his forte. He does it well. Become a multimillionaire. Okay. This was after the movie, anyway. So I'm saying, I, well, how, why is Pat bad no, I'd like to know what show this is because it's a documentary. Oh, you know what it is? I know. Oh, oh, oh. This is a couple of years ago. Oh, it was? No, wait. wait. It yeah. came out when the movie came out. You want to listen to me? Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah. You want to listen to me? Want to hear the rest of it? Let's listen to the rest. I'll, 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 right. Let me defend I'll, section and section. All right, thank you. Don't, don't try to, don't try to bite no corn husk. Because I figured you're my friend. I, I am your friend. I you said, see. oh, God, thank God Pat's yes, going to defend me. Like Hold like on. I go, Pat's going to defend me. Hold now. on a minute. I will clear this whole thing up. Go ahead. How many times you bear mouth people? Now you're their closest friend. Am I right? You think it happened? like Larry King, you made the movie up his ass. Right. don't like Roseanne. You're up her ass. You're right. like this when you're up her So you're ass. saying this is from many years it ago. It don't mean nothing. It's show business. Let me tell you. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it. You're, you're the one guy who should defend your me. Your producer yeah. defends you. Yes. I defend you more than you defend I, I, I don't defend really? you. I defend you every single day. You do? I defend you at home. All right. You understand? All right. Okay, all right. I don't need to applause. Back off. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the rest of it. It's, it's funny I stuff. I know what this That's is. What you do? This guy doing a documentary. He's trying to bad man. He's trying to bad man. what? You're a serious celebrity. You bad man everybody. But I would defend you if someone was doing. No, you don't, I, oh, I, I always let me say, I never say a bad word uh, about you. Oh, you, no, you don't say bad words. You spritz me. <laughs> it's called a Jewish, a, a Jewish kick in the air. Wait, wait, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. What's this dummy doing? There's a lot of things he should never say, but that I know he don't mean to kill you people. Hey, that's, that's terrible. And again, that's going to eat him up when, he, when, when his kids hear about that. Right. And they'll throw it to I his said kids. that. <laughs> you know, that's sad. Well, they know you. He doesn't understand that. And let me tell you what I believe. I believe his mother and father are ashamed of him. I said that. Ah! 
I really believe that. Now, hold, hold. You think my parents are ashamed Wait of me? Wait a minute. That's not bad, Martin. You're just analyzing oh, me. Oh, my parents are ashamed of me? Let me taste it. Oh, I'm like, uh, uh, your parents might be ashamed of you. My you parents aren't ashamed of me. My parents have no, have no decency to be ashamed. They don't right. know what the your parents, you and your parents will get along. Screw them, too. Right, right, right. I'm bringing up. You think my parents are ashamed of me? Well, I think they cringe. Really? Oh, I know it. They don't. I you don't even know my parents. I know. I meet him. I once in a while see a father bow. He takes a bow. He goes to the track. He sometimes cringes. A mother and father got to cringe with some of the things you do. Oh, no, that ain't true. And plus, in the documentary, Wait, say you, something nice oh, about oh, me. Why do you have to bring this up? Why wouldn't you say something nice about me? Pat, you got to start saying some nice things That's about me. I'm too good to you. Ago. Is it really? I'm not good to you. The movie is a year ago. That's over two, three years ago. Really? About, yeah. Is it? Absolutely. You were talking about it. Listen to me. Right. I know the tape. Right. I know that. I, I know right. Oh, you do? Okay, all right. I, I, I know it. It's, it's, it, it but, when we were at war, you say. Well, I'm always at war with you. Right. But that's beside the point. Right. I learned from your producer, Gary Delabati, who says, what are you mad for? It's only show business. When we yell and scream at each other, it's show business. I don't know. I just think it's sometimes you would stick show. up for me. Building, right away, it's show business. But if I show them out of the business, I'm bam out. I don't know. They always go to you for... Uh, it's I was, not I said, oh, thank God Pat's on this tape. Hold on Pat's going to now tell I these guys the way I it is. I haven't. I haven't. I'm man. a good guy. You are a wonderful man. Right. You're in show business. I do exactly what you do. I spritz. So nah, come on. It's different. No, it's no, not it's different. different. If someone asks me, it doesn't mean interview. You will never find a piece of tape of me bad mouth and Pat Cooper. Go something. ahead. What is it? I just thought I should be close by. Cause you do? Why? I don't know. You think you have information? Well, I, I mean... Well, Did you say everything is show but business? We do this for show <laughs> business, Cooper. Everything is well, show business. Patty, I was trying to pat you back. I was trying to calm you down because you were so upset. When those people called, I felt so bad for you. Remember how upset you got when you walked off because those people called said you were bad mouth and Howard. So I was just trying to come. Because it wasn't true. Right. Because it wasn't true. You were set up. And then when you hide him in the closet, right. there's nobody in the closet with me. Meanwhile, if they were telling the truth, why did they run out of the building? Pat, you got to start defending me. I defend you every five minutes. You do really? But I don't go on the air and make a big. I don't kiss your ass if that's what you mean. No, but I mean when you go on the I air and a documentary, you. stick How up for me. You defend if you didn't think Where I defend you, defend you, I wouldn't I be in your show. Who is he defending you to? Right. Who are you defending me to? Huh? Who are you defending every me to? Day. <laughs> really? I don't have a. Wait a minute. I don't have a radio show that I can turn around and talk about you every day. That's true. You got it. Right. I defended you on Grodin. I defended you on Imus. What's the matter with you? Really? I always say nice things about you. Why would you go on Imus? Because it's show business. You think Imus? Why, did you do why do you think Imus has you Why on? did you do Larry Why do you think Imus has why you, why you, you Larry To promote a movie. I did. No. 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 What happened to be? You don't like him, but on your terms, as long as he's selling Pedro pork, we'll go on his show. Yeah, but I and wouldn't go on, go on let's, let's say... Can you believe him sitting there telling me that I'm off the wall? I'm the guy. You're doing the same thing. I'm the guy who oh said, I just never would have had you on his show if I don't have you on. That's how he is. That's how he is. I That's did, the I'm truth. Hold it, hold it. You I never did, did Imus before my show. Because I know you didn't. Let me talk. Yeah. I've only did Imus three times in four years. I know. So don't tell me had me on the show. But you would never, you would never, he would never have you on the show if I didn't put you on. That's the way he is. business. That's the way he is. This is show He'll do whatever Howard does. Whatever Howard does. Producer, your producer talk. Me how to be show. I discovered you. You what? I discovered you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yes. When you I were, discovered you. You around in short. Ah, uh, come on. I was. You on, know what I'm talking about. I was about. on Tom Snyder. All right. In the world, the truth. Tom now, Snyder. The truth. I can say you. Tom Snyder's a bum. I can tell you. I can say you stole Howard. my material. Can I jump right, in for go ahead. <laughs> Pat, and I'm your Christopher not, not, Columbus. Not a bear way, but I think what Howard's trying to say in the nicest of ways is that even though you've been around for many years and you're very popular. Howard was instrumental in reintroducing you to a new audience. Would you agree with that? No. <laughs> he would never agree with that. <laughs> I'm the, I'm the Come on, Pat. Yes. Don't you take, Give me a little credit. Don't you take credit for my ability. Uh -oh. Oh, okay. never took credit right. for your I didn't ability. take credit. Right. I'm just All a right. fan of yours, oh, and I thought... You to wait a, a new minute. audience. Okay. Right. Mm. I, I am a contributor here. You are indeed. You are, you are a, a great guest. To me. Yes. We are now even. See, I <laughs> said years ago, when I got on the radio, I said years ago, <laughs> one guy I'm going to get on is Pat Cooper. Nobody puts this guy on morning radio. They think he's not relevant to an 18 to 34 year old audience. Oh, I am putting him on. I am putting this guy on. I don't know why I came on here today. I'm so happy. <laughs> you were? I got on the subway. Pat's I... wife hates me because every time he comes on the show, he gets all riled up and then he goes home and he yells at her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's the last piece of tape. This is you bad mouthing me. Go ahead. Here we go. I'm not bad mouthing you. You're bad mouthing me. 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 You're bad
What is that? What I said? You support yes. your parents? Yes. Well, I don't think you support them financially. I think you know you support them as you're you're, you're an only son. Right. You said they can't do? say anything about him. You're saying my parents can't say bad stuff about me. Play tennis. But, uh, so because they want don't to play put tennis. Put words in my mouth. Don't analyze my tongue. No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you, pal. I like the way you try to manipulate me. You're not big enough to manipulate me. Come on, I'm having a good discussion with you. I am discussing with you. You think I my parents? Nice and quiet, and a cup of coffee. <laughs> now I'm passing gas through my mouth. <laughs> I don't understand this. No, but Pat, you. I want to know this. If you feel this way. Seriously, because sometimes even when you're angry, this is some truth comes out. Absolutely. Do you think my parents uh, have to be nice to me because they want to use my tennis court? No, I don't think it's a tennis court so much. I think they got to be nice. I think they're a little bit of frightening you. They are. Why? I think because they, they don't know how far you will go. They think you will go as far that they don't want you to go that far. But then they wouldn't and associate oh, 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 with me, right? Are they parents... Oh, they yes, they are my about, parents. They worry about your children. But you don't. Why, let me but, but your they parents, worry, you, your parents, and you don't talk, me, right? Forget my parents. They're not even on the planet. Right. At least I say that. Well, I, I have planet. a good relationship with my not, parents. Yeah, semi. What do you mean, semi? semi. Got got because they're not going to tell you really everything that that, that, that <gasps> sometimes that you say that they really. Oh, my mother does. Say. My mother does. Oh, come on. Time. But am I right? You think they agree with everything you say? No. No. And they let us know. You think they don't cringe when they say this guy's got three children? What is he saying that for? You don't think that they say twenty years down the line your three kids will play the tapes and say what did my father? Dude, talk about balloons. No, you want to talk about balloons? I don't think I don't think so. My mother's not uptight about that, or nor is my father about no, sex no, or anything like that. They don't want to hurt you. They like you. No, I'm right. telling you, their sensibilities are. I am telling yeah. you, my parents have an unusual sensibility. Right. Maybe as, as odd hoping. as mine. Maybe you're hoping. No, I'm telling you, my parents. Does your wife have a sensibility too? Yes. But I see your wife turn and calls up here sometime and say, Yeah, no, my wife gets mad at me. Well, I get mad at you too, but what does that mean? Right. What does that mean? You get mad at me? What does that mean? Nah, I'm just saying, I wish you would. But as long as so you don't care, as long as it's good radio. You don't give a damn if Hitler walked in here, as long as it's good radio. Right. If I come in well, and get radio and you love me and kiss and hug me, I'm a bad guy. I just thought you'd be the one guy who'd come in and defend me. You. I defend thought you would defend wait, me. Wait, I, I was so wait, disappointed. Never be disappointed. I said, boy, everyone's bashing me, but Pat's going to defend me. Where Judith, Re Judith Regan defended me. Where no. is the defense? Judith Regan defended me. Well, Judith Regan's a lovely. I did her show. Yeah, she defended Ask me. Ask if I bad you there. No, I don't think well, he probably didn't either. ask you a bad question about Howard. Excuse me. <laughs> I needed you. I, this is, I needed no, I you to help me. Yeah, I help you every day. All right, listen to this. This is what you said. All right, I'm going to ask you. Okay. Let's well, who's controlling the airways? I really don't know anymore. I just think that, the, that, 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 that if you are very controversial today and you can sell Kellogg's cornflakes or you can sell Snapple or you can sell any kind of a meat, they say put them on. Money. This country has product. Money and entertainment. And it stops. Is that right? Would you think I'm in interest for the money? I think everybody. Well, no, you're no, no. Here, I'm not. You hit a clean fish. No, I got into this business. I was making ninety six dollars a week, and in radio, nobody made more than three hundred dollars. I don't want. I started out with thirteen dollars a week. Does that make me a better? Yeah, okay, but let me ask you something. Do you I think I? You. Do you think I really thought that I'd make money in radio? <laughs> Who you? Do odds of making money in radio are a billion you, to one? Why, let me ask you a question. Why are you saying something that you're not going to make money? Explain that to me. I loved it. Oh, but I loved you, it. Now will you starve? I would have starved. No, 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 no. I would have. I would I'm, be, I'm going to tell you something yeah. so sincere right now. Okay. If I could have made $200 a week for the rest of my life, I still would have been in radio. No, you wouldn't have no children. I wouldn't have. I would not have had children if that's all the money I had. All right, we ended that. Now what else? Right. Now we know you were going to starve. But I would you have stayed. Crap. No, that's right, because it's the only thing I wanted to do with my life. Okay, fine. Does fine. that sound crazy? No, I'm not angry at what you do with your life. And I do what I do with my, you know, with my life. I'm not angry at you, whatever you do. I'm not angry at your success. But you think I do it for the money. Well, what are you in this business for? Well, let me ask you a question. I got enough money, I don't have to be working right now. Money. So why am I here? I got enough money, too. I don't have to be here. Well, why do you do it? Because I got nothing else to do. Oh, all right. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you do it because you love it. I love it because... You like getting up on stage and being loved. Because, no, because I'm great at that. Otherwise, I wouldn't even move. Right. You're, You're good at it. That's what you do. That's it. That's it. But we get paid for being great. Yeah, but even I'm if I didn't get paid, I would not, be doing it. I'm not going to be great for nothing. Do you think you'd be doing it if you didn't get paid? Who? Yeah, you. No. You don't? No. You do not think because so. Because you know why? Why? Because I was driving and I was laying bricks. I was doing everything. I had to make a living. I got to But living. didn't you make people laugh in your spare time? Is there somebody else in this room? Yeah. yeah. But you got, but you, yeah. you got a lot of money. You make people you, laugh. You got millions of dollars, right? Excuse me, honey. Wait, wait, you I, still wanted to make people laugh. I you would have made them laugh honey, if it, they honey, didn't honey, pay you honey, anything honey, at all. Honey, 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 back off. Back off. You, you know you, you can't laugh. help it. I just came in this building today. I got on your floor here. I made three people laugh. That's right. And they didn't pay you a dime. No, no. But honey, I didn't go out I want to make them laugh all together. I am just a naturally funny man. That's but what I'm I saying. You love to make that. people laugh. He's a naturally radio man. But seriously, I want to clarify oh, something. Pat might have said these things when we were, you know, we were not getting along. We were at war. Right, right. I'm at war with you now. Right. What so does wait, that mean? So wait, wait a second. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait a minute. Wait you want to make friends with everyone that you hate right now. Wait a second, wait a second. 
But seriously, <laughs> I, believe this guy. I want to clear up something. Clear it up. My parents, yeah. I don't think, are friendly with me at this point in my life, so they can play tennis or suck or off have money a house. or have a I house. Didn't say because I never off. bought them a house. Back off! Right. I didn't say suck off. Don't put. You know what I'm saying? No, they no, don't no, need no, my no, money. No, no, you're trying to make me look worse. No, no, I'm saying my parents I'm never gonna, needed my money. I'm going to make a final statement. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I tell you, your right. parents and your wife, certain things you do, they cringe. And All right, but that's not what you said. But that's what I mean. No. Don't tell me what I said. Tell me what I mean. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And let me just clarify one more thing. Clarify? I came here I'm sweating already. I'm not doing it just for the money. Hey, you know what, what bothers me? Right. The very God forbid, first bother. statement. Right. What's the very first statement? What, what is the very first statement? Let her say it, Pat. Let's, let's, clear, the let's, let's clear, the clear the air. Let's clear the air. Let's clear the air. Go ahead. Let's have a discussion. Let's have a real discussion. Go ahead. Very first statement that you know nothing big you know you know people don't like you you're nothing big he's just a radio man well a lot of comics have that feeling about me they feel why is he so successful because he's just he doesn't get up on he's a stage and do the jokes no, they're he's steady. No right. no, no, no. a lot of comics are I jealous know of comics me. who are afraid of you will never come on a show but they're afraid of you right you understand right right so their cop out is uh you're not a talented guy like they are right I respect your talent. I know what you're doing here. Right. I think, I'm, I think I've got you're some doing, talent. Oh, oh my, I must. Oh, no, you're, you're an Did, would you replay that right. statement Thanks. for me? You're a, right. great, you're a great promoter. Thank you. You're a great radio man. Do you think I'm a funny and guy? I find out. Do you think I'm funny? No, I think Jack Martin's funny. Do you think Jackie's funny, but yeah. you don't think I am funny? I don't think you're funny funny. I right. think so Jackie is going to be funny. Do you think Jackie is the one who's funny? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't do all the time. I think Jackie's words are delivered pretty good. Right. But I don't. So you think Jackie writes everything I say, and therefore... Don't put words in my mouth. Right, go ahead. I think that Leave you are not hilariously funny. Right. I am hilariously funny. <laughs> you think you are funnier than I am? Oh, because I'm not even in my league. Give me a law. Uh, I would debate that. I'm a, I'm 30 times funnier can I tell you than you. Something? Can I tell you something? I, no offense. I can do what you do. You can't do. You what can't I, do what I do. I can do it. You have never been able to do it. One eyeball. I can't successfully. Do it. You've never uh, done it. You know. So you know the problem is uh, anybody on. goes on radio, they steal it uh, from you. No, you no, no. Go right. on radio. Oh, I go on radio. Go. You got a shot on ABC. Did they give you your own show no. on ABC? No. They did not. Lies. All right. Well, why is no one giving you your own show? I never asked. I didn't want to play. What did you ask? Oh, you wanted a show for years. Not on radio. Oh, come on. Not on radio. What about television? Not even on television. How come you can't get a show? Where do you want a show? What do you want a show? It's all I'm happy. Where do you want a show? I don't want to Come over here and bust your ball. You think you could come on here every day and be consistently funny and entertaining to an audience on a daily basis for five hours? There's no way you can handle it. One problem. No comic can handle it. One problem. Right. You don't choose me a stealing from You me. guys have to do jokes. You tell everybody on radio, he said the. That's my the. No. Nah. Come on. Come on. He Come said on. about. That's my about. Did you ever hear I radio like this? this. Did you ever hear radio eyes. like this before me? Oh. No. Who did it? What? You Not know your what? pal, Imus. Joey Adams. Joey Adams? <laughs> Who? Listen, I'm an inventor. I, you are. I'm an inventor. <laughs> I will never say otherwise. Right. I'm an inventor. All right? All right? You're an inventor. So what else is there? If I give you a radio show, you could not handle it. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm telling you. I'll tell you what no, I'll you do. You could not do it. Come up I'll against me. Go up on any morning I, show. I, I swear. I should do a morning radio program. You know and I'll let you promote it every you day. You know what I said? Go ahead. You know what I said? Yeah. If you want to be on radio today. Go ahead. And you have chutzpah. Go ahead. You must go against the champion. That's right. Gotta go That's the right. I swear to you. I did a few hours in Vegas. They asked me to substitute. Go ahead. They said, would you like to do this regular? I said, under one condition. Go ahead. I want a million dollars for the year. Good. I want to bring in my own staff. All right. And I want to go against Howard Stern. They said, why? I said, because if you want to fight for a title, ah, you got to fight for the champion. That's good. Now, All right. do it, no. and when you win, I'll sit there, I will eat your shoes. Uh, you How's that? You can't eat the What will you do when I win? What will you do? Bagel. No one would win against me. Let Especially me you. you. You're about ready to No one is as funny as me. ready to be taken. No <laughs> one is as funny <laughs> as me. <laughs> take me. I don't, where am I going to take you? You take me. All right, you get me the job, take, I'll take you. Take me. That's the way to do it. Like Tyson, you would bite my ear off. I don't. <laughs> I know. That's what you would do. Have to bite that's the only way you could beat me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Listen, so we have a disagreement. That's all. Not just a disagreement. I have the highest respect for you. Well, I that's like how I you. feel about you. I don't don't say that on the tape. He'll never say it. I said I said it. I happen to think you're a great comic. Yeah. That's why I have you on the show. I've said it for years yeah. that you are one of the most underrated comics. Fine. Thank you. 
And I'll say it anywhere. Thank you. People ask me about you all the time. On tape and off tape, they ask you. You'll never have you a question the, in your you mind. You will never hear. You name the first three best comics you like. Who were the best three comics? What, did you name them in your... I, did I name you? No. That's, that's right. The best three. That's right. Because you know why? Why? You're off the base. You you don't know talent. That's your problem. Uh, you don't think uh, Sam Tennyson was one of the greatest no, comics that ever no, lived? No, you no, do not think so. my opinion. No. I think I'm Sam Tennyson. No. No. No one is funnier than Tennyson. No, no, You know why he's funny? Why? he tickles your bone. Well, that's what I'm basing it on. He didn't tickle everybody's bone. He was the best. Get off my back. He Who was, was bigger erratic, than him? He was an erratic comic. Erratic. Oh. He was erratic. Oh, that's he was right. erratic. That's right. I'm going to say it again. No. I don't dislike the man. I never no. met the man. The man he brilliant. was erratic. Brilliant. Erratic. You're erratic. Brilliant. I'm not erratic. There were times you were, you were off. No, no, no. Really? When I lose my temper, I'm erratic. They don't say I'm a genius. I'm right. erratic. Right. Now, you're Everybody great when you lose your temper. Everybody said to me, <laughs> he's not talented. Sam Kennison was the one of the... I'll tell you who the... Eddie Murphy. George Collins, one of the greats. George Collins. No, he, George Collins good. He put Sam Kennis in his back pocket. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. You're out of touch. You're out of touch. You like people who dump in bed. That's your problem. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, you like nah, that. Nah, That's nah, exciting. Nah. He Kennison in bed. had a way of telling a story. I got a way fun. of telling a story. Oh, listen. He's listen. not in my league. Get no, up. No, 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 no. Don't insult no, me. No. Kennison. You're insulting. I'm insulting. No. I'm insulting. No. You're not allowed to be insulted. You're not allowed. That's off base. You can't get that to me. That's wrong. Get up. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. Come on already with you. What are you, crazy? We all got some nuts. This is insane. Tennyson. Sam Tennyson told a story. I'd have sit on stage with him any day, any time off the top of the head. He's out of my league. Off the top of the head. Sam Tennyson told a story better than any comic alive or dead. You know why? Because you know why? He was funny. not that bright about comics. Oh, oh, that's not, not fair. Comics. That's not fair. You're not bright. You think every comic is worse than you? No. You say no. to me, I no. say everyone sold for me. Hold you it. think you Hold think you would have made? Are you the greatest Hold comic it. that ever lived? Yes, you are. If I didn't think so, I quit the business. Really? You well, think you're right. better than than Kennison or or Richard Pryor? Put them all in the room. Richard Pryor. All of them. Better than Richard oh. Pryor. Let me tell you why. Richard Pryor. Oh. Back off. This is not a color <laughs> thing. Let me. Right. Go oh. ahead. Go ahead. Oh, it's got to be a color thing because I think we're the You're telling me. Time out. You think you're the best at what you do? I know I'm the best. All right. I know I'm the best. So mind your business. No, no, no. No, listen to me. Don't tell me. You wait, wait, wait. are excellent you at what you do, wait, but you are not the best. Right. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, Sit down. Sit down onto the microphone. No one can hear you. Sit down. He's off the microphone. Get on the mic. Get on the mic. You think you're the best comic that ever lived? Now you're nah, you're not the best comic that ever lived. That's my opinion. You don't have to agree with That's your wrong opinion. What are you you cannot say? say that you're the Get best. Come my back. Come on. So I you're eat number one. For breakfast. No way. I eat them all for breakfast. Who? And I'll prove it to you, pal. Prove it to me. The king of the roasts right here. Who? King Who? of the roasts. Go on last. Roast? No. Roast no. does not make a best comic. Time out. Well, oh, no? <laughs> no. Without anything written, my buddy. No. You do that and I'll kiss your ass on Macy's window. Come on. Come on. Come on, that's crazy. Come on, get in Macy's window. I'll kiss you. Go ahead. You ain't got a Who are the other great comics? Who is the great think, comic? I think George Collins one of the greatest that ever walked the floor. All right. George great Collins creator. is good. No, he is not. Great. He's a better than Kennison ever was. Oh. And who else? They don't remember what Kennison's... Kennison's on the edge. Remember. He lived on the I edge. on the edge. Come in here. I'm Carlin was over in 72. Stop crying out loud. Come on. I love Carlin, but he's not that no, great. You don't love nobody. You I love him. You know you love him. I love him. I love Eddie Murphy. You love... Eddie's all right. All right? Yeah. He's, he, listen. Will you mind? Keep quiet. Let me You're good. Me. Eddie Murphy is one of the greatest comics You're ever lived. You're insulting me. I'm no. great. No. How dare you? No. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? Listen. I am the best in the West without a test. I, I am. I'll pay you are. I'm number one in radio. I'm the number one radio guy. You are what so number one. I can one. tell you. You were number one. Whatever. Now Whatever you, you say. Nerves. Okay. You <laughs> 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 Is there anybody who is better than you? Yeah, Jesus Christ. That's it. Wow. Howard, I'm going to teach you something from Please. an older man. Go ahead. The day you don't think that you're the greatest, you should get off this radio. I do think I'm now, the greatest. There are people who think Sam is better than I or Ruddy. That's fine. Yeah, but that's how you feel. That. All right. I, if, if I don't think I'm that great, I can't go on a stage anymore. Exactly. I All right, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Look how fits. He got me a nervous breakdown. That's fair enough. fair enough. No, that's right. Jackie, no, he's right. He's got to feel that way about himself. Keep right in, Jackie. Gotta... Make him funny, Jackie. Pat has got to feel, to feel that way. So since you didn't name him as one of the top three, he's never he's held that against me. Oh, he's held that against me. He's mad at me. Instigator, instigator. There is not another. He holds it against me. He does. I know what she does for me. She instigates. You know what? Listen, you're an instigator. There is no other comic I have ever said. This is where the comics come from. You potato face. There is no other comic I have ever said to, whether it be Tennyson or anybody, that I have said, come on this show anytime you want. You know why? Why? Because you are the greatest guest. 
out of all the comics. You I, hear? Yeah, I agree with you. All right. There you go. Hey, you don't have any argument Now you're from talking about Now. I'm not, I'm not, listen, yeah. I'm telling you what I say about oh, you. Sam Kennison. I tell you you're not the greatest yeah. comic, oh. but you're the greatest guest. I'm going to tell you one more time. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you've got to go to your strength. Play to your strength. My strength. Play to your strength. Play to your I strength. I want to go against you. That's my strength. <laughs> go against me. All right, get go me against job. me. I'll show you how to do it. I can't get your job. No one wants to hire you. I can't get your job. <laughs> That's not true. I can put you no, on a radio no, station and get some work with you. Hey, Jack, who's going to hire you? Jackie. Don't be a coward, Jackie. Stand here. Oh, I was off at work. I'm so taken. I want money. I want the money. I'm not going to sit. They're not going to give you money till you prove yourself. The hell, I proved myself on your. No, you didn't get any ratings. Whose picture is that? It looks like me. Did. That's Larry King in jail. Oh, okay. All right. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't break my studio. <laughs> Pat, honest to God. Yeah. Right. I want you to get a radio show, yeah. but they're not going to pay you a million dollars. You haven't proven yourself. Okay. You got to go out there. If I, you I, believe in yourself. What is this woman interrupting? If you believe in yourself, She's why do you need a million dollars up front? You don't need a million. Why do you need a million dollars right. up front if you believe in yourself? All right. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. Listen oh, to me. Business. All right. Listen to me, Pat. I want to. I want to promote oh, where you're going to oh, be. Oh, oh, I believe oh. I'm worth that, Robin. If you don't think so. Well, then you'll get it. But you don't have to get it up front. But I made. I didn't say up front. I mean, I, you know. The no one gave me a million bucks until I got an audience. You didn't deserve it. That's right. At that time. But you haven't proven you can be. I proved it. Oh, I've done everything. No, you would not get a two share against me. What? You would not get a two share against me. Let me tell you something. You wouldn't even get a one. Let me tell you something. I'll bet you money. You'd have to go take tennis lessons when I get through with you. Nah, tennis nah, nah, nah. No, the show would be boring inside now, of a week. I couldn't be boring on my bed. No, you would. Bed, I'm not you would boring. get boring. When I'm dead, I'm not boring. No, you Trust would be boring. You would, right, first of all, you couldn't handle the pressure, and oh, you couldn't handle the hours. Press, you don't know pressure. You think you're, you're an older pressure. gentleman. I'm you couldn't handle the hours. Older oh, gentleman. Look at that. Yeah. You didn't even say so. Yep. Wow, that's one. I, I'm all elated. I don't want to embarrass you, but how old are you? 68. All right, so you think you can get up every day and talk for five hours? No way. No way. F physically, you couldn't handle it. I'd be in some shape to do this. Well, look at your shape. You look like a god. I'm in. God. I'm in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, that's fun. But to sustain don't that. Tell me what's funny. To sustain that, you couldn't do it. I don't need you to tell me what's no. funny. That's Jack Martin. And I've seen you on these other shows. Jack when you're on my show, yeah. you're funny. Okay. A lot of these other shows, they don't know how to handle you. I was funny on Imus. No, you I weren't. Was hilarious. Some people told me they heard you're it. You're a lie to they, me. They, you weren't funny. Why don't you play the tape? I heard it. Why don't you play the good things? You weren't funny. Why don't you play the good things, Mr. Stein? What Come did on. you say about me? I didn't say nothing about you. So what am I going to say? You didn't say there's nothing good I can play. I got the biggest laugh on you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. What'd you say? Well, we did a benefit, and he was there. Yeah. So he turned around and says, we're going to introduce Pat Cooper, Connie Francis' opening act. Right. So when I walked on the stage, I said, I got two words to say to you, Howard Stern. He fell off the floor. There you go. He was hysterical. Yeah, well, he you should be. He's not a bad man. What does that mean? Oh, he's not a bad man? Ah, everything right. to you too is bad. Okay. Everybody's bad. All right. Everybody hates you. Yeah. Everybody what about you? you. Same and with you. I tell you, I don't scream much, but I don't take it to my grave. All right, all right, all right. All right. You're going to be friends with everybody. He let's, doesn't take, let's it take it to his break. grave. Let's take a break. Yeah, he don't take it to his grave. He can't even get along with his own kids. I don't. You're right. That's right. But I don't make any bones about it. I don't con you. I'm not conning you. I tell you the truth. Yeah, how many people come on and tell you the truth? They con you. I don't con you. All right. Okay. I tell you a fact. And let me tell you something. That's one of the greatest radio shows you ever had. What you was that? Had. What? When I talked about my family. You it was the best. Right. Not the, not there one of the, the best. And remember, I said it, pal, so you know I got the balls. I tell the truth. And when you tell the truth, nobody hears it. Let's go to a break. No, I'm not going to a break. <laughs> uh, so All right, listen to me. I saw you look at your, your lawyer. No, no, here. I want to give you a, a plug, because that's what you're here for. Here. No, we're, we're, we're ending now. We we gotta, we're, you're right. we got to go to break. Howard, would you yeah. do me a favor? Yeah. I wanna... may, may I do my own thing to take me 30 seconds? Please. I, go I, ahead. I got a head like this. Go ahead. I get phone calls. God, stay on. I said, do me a favor. Please. If you're not doing any business, cancel. I don't need your goddamn money. Cancel. What are you talking about? You know, if they call me, go on, Stein, a plug it, plug up. I says, calm down. Uh, All right, you understand? Uh, you never took advantage of that. Right. That's Sunday, true. I'm at Rascals in West Orange. All right, now that's in New Jersey. In New Jersey. I'm, I'm, will you let me finish? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help, but go ahead. That's in New Jersey. Oh, everything he does himself. Sunday. Right. 10, 11, 12 October, I'm at the Sands Hotel. The, my weakest show there is the second show, so Tom Cantone was screaming and yelling, push the second show. I just pushed it. That's side. <laughs> Monday and Tuesday of the same weekend, I'm at the Westchester Broadway Theater. That's wow. the 13th and 14th of October. The 15th, I'm in Brooklyn at the Embassy. Look at the work this man. Wait a minute. Wow. Then I'm at, then I'm at time to go the right 25th, here. I'm at the Club Benet. I covered everything. And November 1st, I'm at Bananas. Now, let's stop talking about that. Good. That's it. That's it. Pat Cooper, go see him. And I'm working with my wife at the Sands. She's going to sing four or five You songs. are kidding now. Oh. Just, why would you do that? I thought that what was so great is you could get away from your uh, wife for a couple of days. Once in a while, she has, you know, she deserves a break. Yeah, she sings. She sings a good song, and they wanted it because she sang, I got 
Fantastic. five or six jobs. So now she's happy. We don't play tennis. That's nice. We don't say Sam Tennis is the greatest. <laughs> what we do is have macaroni, we pass gas, and we die. The great Pat Cooper, everybody. Go see him. I don't care. Pat, it's always good to clear the air with you. No, you don't clear no air. We clear the air. Always, you always pound me. I come in here with, with, with love in my heart. I wind up going home. Wait, 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 Doesn't wait, matter. Wait. You were good. That's what counts. You want me to leave? No, yeah. We're, we're done now. That's it. Is that it? That's over. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me take a break. We'll, uh, we'll, oh, we'll you want look. me to leave? Oh, no, no. I'm going to take a break, and then you'll leave during the break. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. I got up this time in the morning for this. What, what are you talking about? We just did 25 minutes I together. Did it two hours. You did 25 minutes. Something? No, I'm all right. Telling I'm you, you were great. You got other guests? Yeah, I, I got a couple other things. Seriously, my friend, I wanted to make sure you got on. Oh, 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 not, 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 now to give it. Now oh, with the novena. I wanted yeah, to do, yeah. I wanted to do you the favor. I wanted to do you the favor. Whatever you do, you'll, not, you'll never see me come here again. Uh, do me no favor. I'm, I know I wanted I to make sure you got the plug in. I, I don't want your plugs. Take oh, my, plugs back my God. Cut the tape. You can't up. make him happy. It's not no what you have. Don't do me a favor. I'm doing you a favor. I got up in the morning for this thing. Don't remember that. Wait a I second. You a You're mad at me because I had you on too. I want you to understand. I don't need your favors. Don't ever say you did me a favor. I'm you saying I wanted I'm you on the show. I did the show as a nice message, Pat. Thank you, and I go. I did you a favor. What favor? So I want to make sure you get your plugs on. Are you crazy to yell at me? Are you crazy to yell at me? I'm discussing. There's a difference. That is crazy. Now you're crazy. I have you on my show, and I allow. I did it. I did it. It's wonderful. Have we a plug? Don't shove me out here like you did me a favor. Ah, oh, this is crazy. What are you talking about? This is crazy. I'm leaving. There's I'm no leaving. pleasing you. Wait a minute, Pat. I don't want a favor. I'll never call for a favor. Never. Really? Because I don't. I'm an Indian. Dependent human being. When you come to do me a favor, I tell you how and I love you dearly. You can't win with this guy. Oh, you cannot win with you. I don't want no favors. At my age, I don't need favors. I'm a gentleman, I'm a man, and the funniest bastard on the planet. Oh. You tell me to do me a favor? Come on! Oh. I love your show. You I know, you can't you win with this guy. This? I sit and I tell him, I said, you're a great guest. He's I said, to me, he's a great guest. Hold on. Pat, there's, not, Pat, there's nothing wrong with you calling up. And saying, I'd I don't like to come on to plug some things. I really don't like to call. You know why? But there's nothing wrong with that. I don't like to. I like when you call. I don't like to ask. Because then we you know understand? when you want to come my, on. How do I know when you want to be on? The lawyer's talking. How do I know when you want to be on? No. Can I tell you something? I swear to you, as everything's decent. This is crazy yeah, to be yeah, arguing yeah, about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you, call me anytime you want to be on the show. And we're not it's saying Jackie, you got to address the question. No, no, He's just, just, no, I'll ask you. I'll ask you. Pat, when you want to come on the show, you call no, and ask to come on the phone. show. I say because you have something would, to promote. I don't have that relationship would, with anybody. I, would, I didn't say that. Right. They broke my chops, Howard. Who did? All these places that I just plugged. All right. And I said, all right, look, I said, look, I don't want to you bother. You can plug whatever you want. Let me finish, for Christ's sakes. So I turned around and said, look, I don't want to bother the guy who's got things Listen to me. Listen to me. You're a good I'm guest. Always. You're a great guest. But we're always day. happy to have you. We are. This is our form of paying we're you. We love having hold you on, Hold on, Howard. I have an answer here. Yeah, go ahead. Pat, Pat. When I call you up and ask you to come in, yeah. but you don't have anything to plug, yeah. are you doing us a favor? I don't do no favors. <laughs> I don't do favors. I come here. Like, you know why I come here? Because you have a good I'm time. Good show. I'm You're a great you. guest. You're good for me. Yes. So when you say to me, you do me a favor. I, uh, I, I, you know something? I'll never call again. Oh, you my do. God. You, you are way so sensitive. sensitive. That's my heart. Very sensitive. That's my heart. Yeah, you, you got, really got them now. Yeah, yeah. When I turn into a favor, I say, right, listen to me. Pat, Pat, let's end this one. Pat, Pat. This is crazy. All this right. is crazy. It's getting hung up on one word. Happy holiday, by the way. Happy holiday to all you Jewish people out there. And thank you for the plug. No favors. I love you. All right, I love you too. Pat, right, there you go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Pat, Pat's done. Over. He's over. Pat, Pat, the cat yes, goes. yes, I understand That's that. Pat, we hope right. to see you again soon. I tell you, Howard, I love you, Diddy. I, I, please do me. Anytime you, you want to come on, I'll never call. Anytime you want to come on. I want favors. I want to be friendly with you. And if you never call me, I still care about Pat. it. Anytime you want to come on. Oh, there we go. Please. Not a Thank three, not Thank three years. Thank Call us if you need a favor, Pat. Oh, <laughs> Pat, it's a favor to you. I'll announce the rest of those dates again. <laughs> I love that guy. I love that guy. You can't make him happy. Oh. You cannot make him happy. You got to love Pat Cooper. That is the greatest. That is a great man. I love that guy. 
<laughs> Where is he appearing? I don't know. He's got like I, rascals I, in West Orange. I would Somehow. go see him. I would go see him. All right, we got to take a break. We'll be back. More uh, FMEs, the Mike Walker game, and a whole bunch of other crap coming up. Now, what could Jackie Martley do to piss off Pat Cooper? Almost anything. I don't agree with everything he does. Yeah. You know, he wants to do what he wants to do. Fine. Right. Don't bring me into that marshmallow and the behind thing. I don't want that. Oh. <laughs> you understand? Don't bring me where. No, but Jack Martley to allow that. What does that tell you about Jack Martley? How can you allow that to happen? That takes care of your character. What do you still say to you ten years on the road? What will we do? What do you still say to you? How do you go? If someone says, you Howard Stern's the daughter here. Let me tell you about your father. I mean, they're going to be punished for this. Yeah. And they don't seem to understand that. Because his character, what he's doing now, the children will suffer. Right. And you know, I mean, they, you, they walk down and I told him this. Your kids will turn around and be punished for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But it's like talking to the wall. Your father of the year, Pat, on Pluto. Who did this? Uh huh? We're still on the air? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I don't even know where to get that pasta yet. Facial barilla? Mmm. Delicious pasta. You want some more? Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> that good? Do me a favor. That oil. That oil's good for you. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, put that on top of the, the your pasta and it slides right down. I love it. And eat the basil. The basil's good for your intestines. My intestines are fine. Well, no, no, your intestines ain't fine. Anyway, all the fans are happy you're back on the oh, show. I'm getting a lot of faxes Thank you. that are coming in. How would yeah. finally someone with a greater mental illness than Robin? That's what they say. <laughs> Look at this. That's what they say about the great Pat Cooper. Um, and they say now you are the you are the best. You are the king of yelling, Pat Cooper. Well, it's something. It's a king of something. I have no, I have no throne. They say lock him in a room with quivers of loon and see who comes out alive. <laughs> <laughs> and get that idiot Ganji in there with a the camera. <laughs> That's what they say. Oh, boy. And, um... And he says, oh, this guy says, tell Pat Cooper to stop whining. Mm -hmm. He has received more recognition through this episode on your show than he ever had before. True. <clears throat> he says, I never even heard of Pat before. He turned, this show True. turned him on. So that's good. That's I good. made a lot of fans. All right. Absolutely. And uh, you made I, a lot. I tell the truth. I you made a lot truth. of new fans. I made a lot. I lost a few, but I made a lot. And listen, Pat, I think it's over now. Even though you said a lot of bad things about me. Oh, stop pounding no, 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 out I... door. Well, you're like a hammer. Fuck, no, pounding, 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 no, pounding. No, I found the bad thing. You know what? Chauncey, fact. You did the Remember the interview you did with Stepping Out Magazine? You give you slammed me good yes. in that one. You oh, did. You got to admit. True? That was one of my biggies. You slammed me good. I did. You know why? Why? Now let's analyze. Now you insulted me. No, no. What did I you say? No. No, no, he insulted you worse. Wait a minute. Wait I know. I, wait I told you. You know what I did? I know that he no, read, did a lot of awful things did? about no, me. No, quivers. You know what I did? Quivers. I quivers. <laughs> now, now, how would you come? Now you can scream and yell. Now I bad mouth you. Now I'm responsible for bad mouth you. I never bad mouth you. I didn't do before. Pat, I never bad mouth you. Otherwise, you set me up for the kill. So that's why I turn around when this one, when when the stepping on something. No, I never bad mouth you. I'm gonna give him a reason to be mad, mad. Did I ever bad mouth you though? I never mad at you. You gotta admit, I was never mad at you. All right, what's the difference? Right, you ready? What did he say? All right, let me just read it to you. You don't have to say anything. We're going to put it behind us. And then we got to do the news, because it's crazy. Now, here's what you said about me. You ready? Now, you got to admit, I never said anything bad about you. Okay. Never. And certainly I never. Are you ready? Pat Cooper on Howard Stern. All right? You ready? I've been sitting here for an hour. Of course I'm ready. Okay, you ready? Yes. I don't, I don't know think if you're I'm ready. ready. <laughs> All right. What do you what, put your glasses on? I can't see. I can't even no, see no, anymore. Can't I can't ready. even see how you bad mouth me. Are right, you ready? Yeah. If I see that Howard Stern, I could bite his nose off. He wouldn't have to worry about a nose job. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's why you got it. Yeah. Well, that's, that's funny. Go ahead. That's not funny. That's hilarious. I'm your friend. You got to talk knock about your own you know. Nose. How oh, many oh, times oh, you knock your own? All right. Go Listen ahead. to this. This gets more vicious. Howard will exploit anything to help himself. Right. He said he saved that guy on the bridge. He never saved that guy on the he bridge. Never did. He's... Uh, 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 you couldn't save you can't stand that I saved somebody. Street. Why do you wish me ill? Why do you wish me ill? Because I know it wasn't true. That kid was good. would confess anything. You saved me. You know what? No. He was feet off the ground. Wait a second. The guy was on the bridge. The Hold and it. they put a bridge in front of him. Why uh, did the police and he come and take him away? I can't believe this. Why did the police come and take him away? Because the police got sucked into this. Oh, oh, come on. The guy sucking in on the bridge. <laughs> you couldn't stand to say something nice about that. The one heroic moment in my life. But I told what I what I believed. At least I talked the guy off a bridge. I saved you the life. Talking over oh, you don't believe water. that for a minute. If I was on the bridge, he you said, called me up. Listen to this. Howard didn't save nobody. He's a liar. I did it right on the... He's a liar. How could you call me a liar? First of all, I'm your friend. To you. Let me explain. I figured, you know, even you if we had a fight. nobody. It you was a me con job. You, you think I said that? I don't believe you saved anybody. That's my opinion, okay? And you think I'm a liar? I'm lying what, what about does it? that say? You what think say? I set if that you up? Turned around, if you turned around and said I saved somebody and I said you didn't, that means that, that you're not That I'm lying? 
All right, no, no. It might be a matter of opinion I'm, I'm, whether I save the guy's life, but I, you say I'm a liar? Lying? You think I'm a liar? No, I didn't say you're a liar, liar, but you said he's a liar. That's what I said. All right, you say I'm a liar. Okay, that hurts. That hurts Absolutely. me. Absolutely. I thought we were finished with this. No, this is too good. Okay. No. All right. This is too good. <laughs> <laughs> now listen to what you say. This is this kills me. Everything kills you. And you know I'm not a liar. Howard, Admit it. Howard, Am I a liar? Yes, I'll prove it to you. Go ahead. Prove it to you? Yeah. You told me your father said things that he didn't say. That makes you a liar. My father you know? did say it. Your father didn't say it. He said it. My father has Alzheimer's. I'm not going to admit that on the air. Oh, brother. My father don't remember yesterday. He my father he told said, I'm me. Not admit it on the my father's the a pussy. He's a worm. He's oh, afraid he'll run into you. you. See how you copped out? He's they a worm. Lie. You lied about your I father. didn't lie. Yes, you did. My father's lightheaded. Nah, your father's your father. I'll be that very classy. Yeah, guy. my father. I'll have a long man. talk with him. I'll he's give from you... the old school, honesty. He's going to be an old age home eating dog food. That's where he's going to be. You wait and see. If I had a father like yours, I'd never get married. Let me tell you something. You hear what I said? I saw how you got along with your father. said? Yeah, I don't believe it. If I had a father and mother like yours, I'd never get married. If you had a father like mine? Yeah. And you committed like suicide. No, you couldn't no, have no, stood no, no. the mental anguish. My mother father should My have father yelled suicide. at me every day. I came close, but I was on the bridge and you didn't talk me over. Now listen to what he says about me. My friend. How could you say this about me, Patty? Oh, wait. Listen Patty? to me. Yeah, Patty. Oh, no. That's what I call you. <laughs> <laughs> listen to this. He says, uh... Where did you get this? Chauncey facts. Okay. All right. Who's Chauncey? The guy the you guy did the interview. interview with. You. Oh, what about the fact what? that Governor what? Pataki? What about the fact that Governor Pataki had Stern sit alongside him while be sworn in? He said this. What does that tell you about Pataki? What does that say about his morals? Pataki should take a vote from Hitler. Am I glad you said that? Yeah. I'm going to take. I'm, I'm, Pataki's a good man. I'm going to see him tonight. How could you say these things about Pataki? Very simple. I hope my mother said it. And you and you I see him tonight. I said at the moment I was angry. Where are you going to see Pataki? Now you want to know? Yeah. I'm getting too close to him. No, where are you going to see him? I'm going to see him at the uh, at the uh, uh, atrium. And you badmouth him. Badmouth. You said he would take a vote from Hitler. Oh. Oh. I'm badmouth people. So it's what bad-mouth. you're saying, Pat? Now is right, anything? Give me that. I want to give it a pat. <laughs> yeah, anything he says in anger really doesn't mean anything. No, so, no, it, it, it meant it for the moment, but don't mean nothing. All right, here's John Robin Quivers. Robin, the end word 15 uh, minutes ago. Don't mean nothing. Uh, Robin <laughs> Quivers. No, 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 no. Listen to this. Listen to how mad you were. This is how you hop. I didn't even ring you. And I've always been your friend, Pat. Wonderful things about you. No, 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 no. Vicious. You know what the end word is? Nicole. No, 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 no. Why you be so vicious to me? Robin Quivers. Robin Quivers. I would go tell you he was hurt. Let me hear it. All right, let me tell you what you said. I can handle it. If I said it, I said it. Robin Quivers is a scumbag. She's nothing. She's a lady. They all are scumbags. If Howard leaves show business, do you know what they will be? Nothing. Robin Quivers. from two ways. Wait, Can't listen. Read the this thing is good. Flow? Robin Quivers. Will, this is great. Robin Quivers will be nothing. She'll be back doing what she was meant to do, which is being a nurse. Oh, that, were you a nurse? She would go to the oh, hospital. I was meant to be. Uh, you know you exactly you nurse, what they had written up for me. And uh, were you a nurse? I was supposed to be a nurse. I was meant to be a nurse. You she would go back. Nursing was a mistake. This is good. She would go back to the hospital to give enemas. <laughs> That's her forte. Not to turn around and abuse people or accuse people of what she thinks is right or wrong. What is she? She's boring on television. Television. She's got no personality. She's like a fish out of water on TV. Oh, that's great. That's great dialogue. And she don't belong there. On radio, she comes across a little better. You know, any kind of thing. No, okay. No, you went on and on and on. This is the best part, though. <laughs> this is the best part. They, they say, well, will you be buying Robin's book? Pat says, only a kook would buy her book. <laughs> What's you so, been the first this is the great, what's, so, what's so important about her? Her breasts? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and there you go. You waited for me to come back on this show to read that. No, I didn't even know you said this. <laughs> well, you said you, you read Stepping Out. And then, and, then, and then it says, are you going to attend the birthday party? He says, right now I'm going to go. But if they twist my balls, I'll tell them to shove their birthday up their ass. See? <laughs> Can I have a copy? Yeah. I got the book home. I yeah. <laughs> you don't want that. All right. Oh, there Listen, you are. I you take bad mountain. But I don't I care. T- no, no. I, 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 I can take care. it. I'm a more of a man. Oh, oh, oh. No, I can take no, no. it. doesn't make you more of a man. Yes, it does. He can take you my would never. Too. Make, oh, how many things? How many things have you? <laughs> this is good pasta, this gorilla. I say it wasn't. Uh, ah! mm. Look how fast he brushes the whole thing. So now you're saying none of that meant anything, Pat? Let me tell you something, darling. You just heard a greatness uh, ten minutes ago when he told me his father said this and this and his father didn't back him up. What does that tell you? Oh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it doesn't, say anything. doesn't mean my father knows what he's doing. That's your answer. In other words, he's defending himself by saying my father's a cook. He's got I never eyes. badmouthed you. Never. You bad mommy just now. You no, said your I father didn't. said that. That's bad mommy. I didn't bad mouth you. You're, we're not talking to I, somebody I, I, else. I, I, we're talking I, I, to you. Hey, I said. At the very I don't deny what I said. 
I you, don't deny what deny. I said. Yes. That's one thing about me. I said it. I said it. Okay. Now, yes. now what do you want to do? Are you going to harbor still resentment, or are you? Over I don't it? resent nobody. I didn't hate you. I didn't. I got angry when they when they came to me. I, I blew my stack. I know. I continued of the stack blowing. You were pissed off. See, my stack blowing last a couple of weeks. <laughs> Listen, Pat. Let's forget it, and let's do the news. How can you forget? You said that two hours ago. You're still pounding my patoos. All right. <laughs> Enough already. Yeah, that's why we're here. We always well, have fun. Do you have any more crap? No, you want that's to it. I, I just want to get out of this. I think we should just bury it. I think we got to bury it. Bury it, it because it's, it's too well, You said that for two hours here. But that was good. Because you did say, what did I say about you? Now you know. I did. All right. You're bad I admit now. I said it. It's all right. Wait, 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 it's all right. I'm a better man. I said, no, I'm a better man because no, I said I said it. I'm not denying it. But You can't deny it. You said you called me a lie. I said, yeah, because you just lied on the show ten minutes ago. So what are you telling me for? No, I didn't lie. Again. Nobody wants to know nothing. I don't Nobody lie when it comes you're to you. About your friend, I ain't got a chance here. All right. A lot of the callers want to welcome Pat back, but I think we should get to the news. All right, Pat, are we over this? Will you stop it already? Uh, come on. Here we go. All right, here. let's go. Robin, what's you in the news? You don't want to take any calls. Okay. I'll take them. You want to take calls? Go I'll take calls. Hey, there are people who want to say welcome back to Pat. I don't have a show. You want to welcome Pat back to the show? Uh, actually, Gary, I wanted to get your... Uh, no, it's Howard. Number. It's Howard. Oh, hello. Yeah, I guess they don't even care. That's yeah, crazy, well, right? I, I'm not a big fan of, a fan of Pat Cooper. Uh, really? Yeah, I think uh, he wronged you when you're being too easy on him. You think I, I, I was too easy? Yeah, well, I, I like too... Pat. I don't care. I like him. Yeah, well, I don't understand why. I just like him. I understand why. He's not funny. Well, because you have no sense of humor. No, I have a sense of humor. <laughs> no, 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 no. You've been a coma too long. You're not funny. How yeah, hey, let me tell you something about funny. You know your business. I know my business. You know what you are? You're a butcher that can't cut meat. <laughs> Did you hear what I said to you? So back off and stay out of my career. No, you don't know comedy. You ain't got no hooks but to go in front of an audience and, to, and do things. Hey, you know I'm what you are? You're boring. Career. Right. I'm not criticizing your career. I'm just saying... You're criticizing because you don't know talent. You don't know comedy. Talent. You don't know nothing. How dare you get into my lifestyle when you don't know what you're talking about? Howard is a talent. Howard is not a talent. talent. Howard is a man in a cocoon here doing something that he's doing. A lot of people think he's great talent. A lot of people don't think he's got talent. So do me a favor. Understand English. Go back to school and learn about character. <laughs> Pat, all you do is Pat, yell. this is Bob Moore. That's right. That's why I make a million dollars by yelling. All you do is yell. That's great. I got to yell. I all think right. it's healthy. Let me hang Next. 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 Ah, what are you going to do? Hey, go, go, go clean fish. Radio, but he's not funny. All right. You're Thank funny. you. This is Bob Moore. You don't have no sense of humor. If you tell me this man's funny, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. Now I'm insulted. I don't care if you say I'm not funny. But you tell me this guy's funny. Why are you attacking me? You're right. I'm attacking you. Why you say you know I'm funnier than you? I'm not funnier than you. I'm a scream. You're not even the clown. Why am I on all these shows? You couldn't even be a clown. Then why, am I, so <laughs> then why am I so successful? Then why am I so successful? You're not successful because you're funny. You're successful because you're controversial. Oh, but I'm not funny. No, you're not funny, funny like me. I'm funny, funny, funny. I'm funny. You're semi funny. I'm funny. You're controversial. When I call you, I am funny than you. Keep writing, Jack. Good idea to take calls. Huh? Kick him off. Kick him off. All right. Thank you. Get me out. Throw me out. Execute me. I know he probably does executions up in the New York State. Well, that was a good idea. That worked out. Welcome back. All right. Let's do the news. Who cares who's funny? Yeah, Let's I go. think we better stay in this cocoon. Oh, it's safer here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, Pat. Again, you're at war. <sighs> But the guy's telling me that has no, no... Why did you have to attack Howard? Why did you attack me? I had to attack you when he puts me in the same league as you as comedy. You're not in my league as comedy. Oh, come on. You're in the league. Can you do stand-up comedy? I don't do stand-up. You couldn't do sit-down comedy. Forget about stand-up. You couldn't do a radio show. I could do it twice. No, you couldn't. It. I've done it. And where is it? I've done it. Why aren't you on more? I turned it down. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. You don't couldn't even me. compete. I was out of time. Get a radio a show against mine and beat me, and then I'll know you're better at it than me. Get a radio show against mine and beat me. If I get a radio show against yours, it's over. No, it's not. It's over. I would beat you so soundly, you would be the you beating can't of your beat life. Everybody. Get off my <laughs> I've beaten everybody. You want to know something? What kind of man I am? I want to go against you. You know why? Why? Because that's when you know you're great if you beat the greatest, and I right. would beat you. Go, go to it. There you go. You could never do it. Don't tell me I could you never. You could try and try the and try. could be right. You couldn't even get up. And you may not. And you may you couldn't even get up in the morning. You may realize, <laughs> who, me? I'm yeah. always up. I'm you always would, up. You would die from the schedule. And two two weeks know. into Some it. Some of your people may come on my side. I doubt it. Uh, who? You've alienated everyone. I already got a kick under the table. I don't know. <laughs> who do you have? I, I already got a kick under the table. Oh, there you go. Jackie, <laughs> right out the door, huh? Bastard. 10000 a week, I said. That's all. 10000 a week, you're out of a job. You're not kidding. <laughs> I, you know I'm the king of all you're media. You're king of all media. Right. That's where you belong. I'm the funniest. But after that, you don't belong in our Nobody in my league. Elevators. There's nobody in my the league. King of the media. I make people laugh 24 hours a day. Well, well, through right. books, 
soon to be movies. No one's had the success that I've movie, had. You've been building that movie for ten years. Man. Wait and see. You've been building. When that I do it, I'll do it right. You ever been in a movie? Me, many movies. What happened to him? I don't want to because be you that. go, you rush into the movies. I'm not the star. You got to do the right I'm movie. I'm the star. I'm the star. I turned down a movie. I turned down a good part in a movie. What movie? Like the one with Martin Scorsese, Casino. I turned that. So down. where is it? Because I know it's coming out in December. Yeah. Calm down, will you? Please? Right. Calm down. <laughs> you fool, you fool, you fool. I am the greatest. That's yeah, all. You can't I, challenge I, it. I respect that when you say that about yourself. That's I am. To say. Yeah. I am the greatest in comedy stand. I am the greatest of me. I said that, oh, but you're not right. funnier than me. No, I am. What I am. I'm funnier than you, Pat. I'm, I'm sorry. See, he always gets like mad that I'm funnier than him. You're not funnier than I me. I am such a I wit. refuse to accept I am so this quick. This is what I thought was at the bottom of the whole he thing. He thinks Pat he's mad saying, at me. you're not in his league. I'm not in his league. How dare I comment on him? I'm not That's in his right. league. Right. I'm, I'm not, not even league. in his business. I never claim I'm a better radio host than you. I never said I'm a better guy than writer than Jackie. He sells better than me. Right. But I don't say that. I'm in my category. No, you are a better writer than Jackie. There's no question. Jackie's the best. No. <laughs> All right, Pat, come on. This is crazy. It's not crazy. You started this whole no, thing. You I'm started it. <laughs> you started yelling that I'm not a talent. You are, I didn't say that. Now yes, you're putting words on my mouth. Said, I said now you're lying. lying. I said, look at these lies. Right? You're lying. <laughs> you're I said right here. I was listening. Yeah, I know you were listening. <laughs> yeah. All right, Pat, let's put this behind us. Will Again, you? behind us. I, right. I got something in front of me. All right. <laughs> How old are you? 66. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. You're too old to be doing this. This is insane. <laughs> I'm 41. It's, it's a little. It's I got here. You crazy. haven't got 66 yet. So I'm already 20 years ahead. All right, that's true. You, so I'm already 20 years ahead. All right, that's true. You got oh, me sorry. beat there. All right. I think there was acid in that barilla pasta. I <laughs> <laughs> he jacked up. <laughs> You're supposed to come in here, make up, and then you, you attack me. Oh, made up. You're you the one that started right in. The thing. You keep burying me. I like, will put that behind me. Me, there's a lot of garbage in front of me. All right, we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> Are you the greatest talent in show business today? Who is Who the greatest, is the greatest, greatest comic? comic? You are the greatest comic. I can, I'll go against Seinfeld. I'll go against all of them. Oh. Yeah, but I'm not a better actor than, 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 than Nero, of course not. No, but I'm saying I'm as a, a comic. Are you a better stand-up comic? I think I'll take anyone on. I'll take all of them on because I believe in myself. Right. I believe in myself. And you've been around longer. Can I tell you something? I'll challenge any one of them. But I don't... I don't. You I don't, would do it? You I, would take a challenge I, with I, them? Well, I'll challenge Why not? Why, I get to why not? Who cares? <laughs> Who is the greatest singer in the world? Frank Sinatra Jr.? No, I think uh, mm -hmm. the man that I like is Vic Damone Sinatra, and I like a man who was passed away called Matt Monroe. I think it's three of the greatest singers. Matt Sinatra's Monroe is still better than people living today. The woman don't breathe. How is this sauce? The woman don't breathe. You say, mmm. It's good sauce. It's delicious. I accept it. This is great pasta. Mmm. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Let's put this behind us. I don't believe it. What is in the news? Come on, you're putting it behind us. Go ahead, do the news. We're going to put it behind us now. It's gone. Do you think Robin is the most talented newscaster? No. 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 Who is? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't judge newscasters. She does her job. Right. She does her job. But she's not the best. What's why she should want to be a best? That's an insult to her. Say, all she can do is news. Right. She's riding horses. She's I could canter. go back to she me. She knows how to can. I could do what I really know how to do, which is give nice. enemas. Enemas. Right. Enemas. Nice. Is she the greatest nurse? Can I give you an enema pad? <laughs> I would like to show you how good I am. Well, honey, I would, I would, I would probably give you the opportunity in private quarters. No, no, for the public. Now, oh, come. absolutely, I would love to do that. Come on, this is crazy. Let's have some fun. And let's put it behind us. We have been having fun right. all afternoon. Come on, Robin, do the news already before something else happens. Do you know how Orville Rittenbacher died? Yes, I did. He was yelled at by Pat. <laughs> <laughs> he yelled at him to death. <laughs> you know Orville Redenbacher, the guy was a multimillionaire. I know, know the guy, I know his son, the, you know, the, the, the popcorn The popcorn guy. piece. The popcorn. I know, what are you carrying on? Everybody dies. He's 88 years listen old. Listen to this. Forever. But listen, listen how he died, this. it's fun. I know, in the pool. Old. He died in the pool. Well, let her do he had a heart attack and he drowned. Who is the news the person water. here? Well, go to the next page. <laughs> he was in his whirlpool. Whirlpool. Had a heart attack. Yeah. And drowned. And popped. So no, he, he was alive and he yeah, drowned he in the world. He might have lived had he not been in that whirlpool. Bag. You don't have a whirlpool, do you? I don't have any kind of pools that have whirls in it. Right. I had a regular American pool. You jump in and you get out. That's Let right. Stuff with the turning around and upside down in the heat. That's no good for your body. Right. I tell people, don't be stupid. You're not a boiled trout. Right. Get out of that stuff. You know, my wife. Pool. My wife, I swear to God, bought a hot tub. I oh, was against it. Yeah, I was against it. Listen to this. I was against it. 
Dangerous. Dangerous. I said, yeah? Dangerous. I said to her, do you mean I'm going to go in boiling water? Right. Because you boil chicken <laughs> in water that well, temperature. Let go in. You stay out. So she says to me last night, let's go in. First of all, it was freezing <clears throat> cold last night. I'm going to hop into the yeah, hot water outdoors. Yeah, a lot of you're supposed to wait till it's cold. This is outdoors. Go outside outdoors. In pneumonia. and right jump into this hot water. She's trying to get rid of you. Yeah. She wants to get rid of you. It's enough of you already. I would cook in this thing. Yeah. And uh, I said, I said I won't go in it. Dangerous. I refuse. Dangerous. You cook your organs. Trust me. Uh, so you should take this story home to. Don't listen to these. Stories. A hot tub killed my first child. Really? When I, my wife was pregnant in Washington, she had my son inside of her. Oh boy. Uh, my the son. The son. My son. <laughs> she went into the hot tub. It destroyed her. No, that's not good. That was it. That was it. It was the saddest day of my life. You don't go. You don't do those things. That's not. And she for, did it. That's not for human consumption. Howard Jr. was hard boiled. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Swear to God. He doesn't know whether it was a boy. How many? Oh, I do too. Do not. It many, was a boy. Was, it was my son. How many months was she? She was two three weeks. weeks. Two weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> that's right. It's not even a. Not even a thought. It what died. It was, it was a boy. You want to give your wife guilt? It was a son. Maybe she's trying to tell you something with that boy and trying to put you in there. It was my son. <laughs> All right. So was your son. All right. Ernie. Go ahead. Next. Ernie so was anyway, Howard Jr. Here's for those of you Rick who want to uh, have a moment to remember Orville Redenbacher. Here's one of his. Give the guys do. I love Robin Rick and Benaka. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, popcorn is a fun item. Now since we got the microwave flavors, mm -hmm. it's made it much more interesting. It seems only right. Flavors. I'm glad, real I'm glad it's over. People wanted good. Substantial flavors. Sour cream and onion, cheddar cheese, caramel, and nacho. I wouldn't think of eating anything else other than grandpa's popcorn with real ingredients. I and wish my father had popcorn. Anything else, he'd be disinherited anyway, so. <laughs> Look at those birds. <laughs> there he goes. You know, I wish my father would have been in popcorn. Yeah. What, what a great business. Something to leave you, huh? I got nothing. Man, don't leave me nothing. You got it all. You became from your no father's, inheritance. From your father's spine, you became a talent. Oh, your God. father had talent to spine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Otherwise, you could have been turning around. You could have been a plumber, a bricklayer. I got no bricks. You never got any bricks either, so I you know a it. Well, Orville. That's right. Absolutely. Orville Red. Well, now trenches. maybe you should go back to what uh, you were meant to. No, 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 no. Anyway. You, give an <laughs> <laughs> you give me an animal, I'll lay bricks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you give me the animal, I'll lay bricks. <laughs> I, I'll take your one. You She'll you give you an animal, too. Don't even dare her. Go ahead. Go ahead. Next. Orville Redenbacher was 88 years old. I know that. I At least that. he didn't suffer. I know that. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> O.J. Simpson's trial could be coming to a close. Uh, yeah. Judge Lance Ito told jurors yesterday that he was going to be giving them the um, Ultimate order. Ultimate Tuesday, right. Tuesday. The Good. order to the jury. He was going to explain the law to them oh, that man. applies in the O.J. case on Friday. But what does the defense say? However, they're now saying that he is planning to do this even before the people give their closing argument because he's afraid that the that the that the jury may get up and say we are enough go home right and they just get up and go home right. so he's pacifying them oh. he's trying to tell them would you leave minute. if you were on the jury i would have left four or five months ago right and i would have first of all sued ito right for keeping me there right i'd have sued you you <laughs> son of a bitch what are you crazy right. i got a family you got a life my property right what is your problem with this other guy and then and then and then and then right the n-word all of a sudden now it becomes a framing trial then these poor italian guys these idiot baboons Giving a bad name to all Italians. Yeah, well, the, these two guys, they're not Italians. They don't have a man. They're rat bastards. Right. Trust me. Well, these Trust are, uh, me. You know guys like this. What? You've been around. You I, know I, them. I know them. They're, these are not men. Have you ever met these two? No, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to meet them. They're, they're you know, gonna a lot of... Yeah, I'm going to whack you out. Hey, what are you going to whack you out? That's a famous word. I'm going to whack you out. The animal. I'm the animal. The animal. Any man that's an animal, right. become an animal. No, you don't do what he did. Squeal on people. You're an animal, you take the beating. Right. John Gotti, whether you like him or not, took it, put in jail. That's the end. Just squeal on nobody. Right, right. The well, difference. these guys are in right. the witness protection program. And They're yesterday. not on the witness protection program. They were shown on, on, on ABC the other night. They showed their faces. I've you seen pictures of them in the paper, but they couldn't show them in that what? courtroom Because yesterday. that's hypocrisy, damn it. You show me on one show, and you don't show me another show. That's how America right. is right. being sucked up. I think that this was another right. one of those. It's being sucked up. Trust what I tell you. That case is a big joke. Yes. Well, OJ is guilty. He's guilty. Joke. He was joke. there. He did the ensalada. He did everything. All of a sudden. Will he get off? All of a, nah, he, he will not get off? No. You, you believe? He better pray to God he don't get off. Why? What's going to happen? I think they'll kill him. You think they'll kill him? I think there'll be a guy out there say, well, I'm going to make a name for myself and whack him out. Right. Well, well do you, you know what O.J. Simpson right. has done in anticipation of his acquittal? What? He has trademarked, he's applied for a trademark on his name, the initials O.J. Because he figures that if he gets acquitted, that name is going to be worth a lot of money. He'll be on Letterman. He'll be able to merchandise it and make Honey, all even this if money. No shame.
shame. Well, he can use the name the same thing. He can still sell from behind prison bars. They're all doing it. Well, no the shame. people in the company no shame. No shame. are saying that this is a sign that his lawyers think he's going to walk and they're looking his for His lawyers know payment. that if he walks, first of all, the show the other night on, on the Grogan again, I'll tell you, he oh, said he God. spoke to some people for, in California and one of the one of the attorneys on OJ's side yeah. said, this guy is guilty of sin, but we're going to get him off. But yeah. he didn't mention who the guy was. Yeah, why? Because he's a coward, Grogan. No, he he's a coward. Well, why if he's he? got information, where is he? Because well, he's hiding under his toupee. Even, what are you yelling at How could you like him? Everybody else is I don't like a lot of things. I like a dog. If you had information, if you had information, smoking a cigarette. if you had information, you would go for it. If you I would had tell. information that this guy... Grodin doesn't somebody, give the information. Uh, but see, but see, Grodin can't put the guy Why? in the spot and told him. That's no, he won't. Would you put the guy in the spot yes. and told you? Yes, I damn well, right. I if I had information... If I said, Howard, do me a favor, it's between you and I. You're going to d double deal me? Yes. Well, there you are. There it you depends are. That's right. you did. If you right killed somebody, we right into the trap. If you killed someone, I would tell him. 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 Well, anyway, after these... First of all, they had an FBI guy get on the stand yesterday and said he heard Van Adder having this conversation oh, with one of these oh, guys. Oh, that's ridiculous. Then Van Adder gets on the stand and says, I don't remember talking about that. I never discussed my cases with anybody, so it's I don't right. know what it all means. I know what it means. What? I'm looking for an opening to get this guy to confuse the, uh, the, the, the jury. What are you getting upset let for? Him go. Forget it. Because it's, you know... Forget uh, it. you got to go on with your life. No, no. no. I can see... Here's what you got to go on with your life. Obsess me. I'll get back to John Gotti. John Gotti was in jail for a year. They wouldn't give him bail. They said he was a he was a, he was trouble for the world. He was on maybe God forbid he killed someone. They gave him a dime a dime a, a, a five minutes freedom while he was in jail for a year. This guy, this guy, we're all worried. Oh my God! First of all, the first thing they did was no electric chair. We're not gonna we're not gonna go right. for the death. Should have been the death penalty. Strike one. Right. Strike one. Okay. The second thing that he he he, he does, he turns around and he's got thirty five lawyers. So that's strike two. Third thing is the judge should have said three months. This thing's got to be over. Right. We're not gonna make this an he's epic. Right. He's right. This is not an epic. Every time they get a phone call, it's another day wow. of this trial. All right. We'll pass and that. And everybody who sells a book or who gets the hair quaff and wears certain suits and certain ties. What about the day that all the judge, I mean, all the uh, lawyers on the OJ side wore a tie of the same color? That drove you but, yet, but yet, if Marsha Clark had the angel on her ear, they all scream bloody murder. So it goes to show you, it's no longer the bodies of these two innocent victims. It's just show business. Right. And Edo will close and become a big star. He'll write a book and he'll become an icon and then maybe go and raise right. flowers in Japan. He's a oh, Hollywood judge. Those, uh, right. network right. contracts right. to be a right. commentator right. and legal right. case. I am the genius of me. <laughs> right. Thank you, Judge. That's Georgito. Oh, he's saying I'll quote you. Georgito. I am the genius of me. All right. Very good. All right. Let's take a break. Pat's upset. Pat Cooper's wacky. Let me just <laughs> All right. close the uh, O.J. Simpson report by saying the defense will continue today to present their few yeah. stragglers of witnesses. And Ito says that it'll be all over he's by got the it. Friday. He's up against the wall if you don't. That's right. I'm up against the wall. I'm up against the wall. I'm up against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, Judge Ito, thank you. Do we have to take a break? Yes, we right, we're going to take a break, Rob. We'll get back to more news with Pat Cooper. Pat, by the way, if you want to go see him this Friday, at Christos too, and Brock DeMess. See him before he explodes. No, I'm giving him an enema. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, on stage. <laughs> That's right. And uh, Saturday, you're going to go over to uh, St. George. Saint George. And Staten Island, <laughs> Frank Sinatra Jr. Frank Sinatra Jr. That should be a fun show. A little music yeah, and a little show. comedy. He'll, He'll be, be nice and, and mellow. Up. He'll be mellow by then. Oh. Around Frank, he behaves himself. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, be back right after these words. <laughs> Right, let's go on with the news. We're doing yes, good. There's here. some stories we need to get through here, so yeah, let's please. just stop fooling around. Well, that's part of the show to fool around. <laughs> let's uh, be honest. The city and the county of Los Angeles are now offering a fifty thousand dollar reward for information to find a gang member suspected of shooting to death a three year old girl. This was the case where the family wandered into a high crime area by accident. They were lost. Yeah, I read that. Car was surrounded. They surrounded the car as and they were trying them out. to get out. Yeah, they going. started firing on them and the little girl was killed. They now say that they are waiting for some forensic evidence to come back, but that they think they have the people involved and that they pretty soon are going to be making some arrests. Here is Willie Williams, the uh, chief of police out in Los Angeles. All right, Willie Williams. Unusual name, don't you think? Yes, stress good confusion. A lot of confusion there. We're asking anyone in the city, anyone in this neighborhood, who has any information at all, about the perpetrators of this heinous crime to come forward. We don't need your name. We don't need addresses and phone numbers. 
Right. Uh, Police. This is a uh, neighborhood under siege, so they are telling the people that the their countries identities siege. will be respected if they want to come forward and give information. You know something, my trial. darling? My darling. But yes, something. darling. <laughs> 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 she doesn't the understand. The game is we try to do it the right way as human beings and try to solve problems as human beings. You've got to deal with animals like animals. These people here, you give them a 10-minute trial and whack them out and next, right. then it'll stop. That's right. It's not going to stop. We keep on to year yes. trial, seven months trial, eight year of trials because it's a big joke. You're whack them out. Now, right. we got the death penalty in the state of New York, but now I'm hearing that if maybe uh, you were a homosexual, bisexual, you can beat the murder rap. They're already making excuses not to kill you. Right. I've never heard of such a stupid right. thing. Whack them out. Like OJ. Like they do in Italy. Hey, Gumbar, yeah, you did it yet. It's all over. That's all. Next case, plant them. Put them in the ground and make a basil. Right. <laughs> Here is, uh, you know, the thing I was trying to point out here right. is that you have to have the cooperation of a community. People see these crimes committed. Right. They know who's involved. Look at cops who are shooting people. What the hell? Maybe the cops did it. Who the hell knows? It's such a frightening thing to go outside your door. That's the frightening thing. That's why Howard will last forever. He's in this cocoon. I stay here. He'll never get hurt. Right. He's right. That's, That's why I won't leave. That's what they got to do. They got to well, turn around and say, you commit the crime, you're going to not do time. Whack you out. I got beach. All right, All right go ahead. To him. Here is uh, the little girl's grandmother. Her name oh, is Linda she... Dalton. Linda Dalton. She's sort of making an appeal to the people of this community. Yeah. What a shame. It has to be more an issue of conscience that they have to realize that they they have children, their children have children, and they're all in danger. And the only way that anything can be done. Right. They won't. Let this me tell you something. This is what I'm saying. Even you sitting right there, these people aren't being nice to you. Right. They're terrorizing you. What too. about the kid in the paper? This doctor is forgiving the guy who shot him in the subway. I forgive you. There's no forgiveness. Right. Whack him out and on the subway. Where it happened? Tell the people get away. Stay outside. This is 38th Street. What are you, you gonna know what, do you know what it is? the guy out to shut the doctor on 38th Street. You know what it is? Kill him right there. The community will not come forward and turn these guys oh, in. The community's full of. They will protect the criminals. No, 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 hey, the what was this? What was this? Is this a Hispanic gang or a black gang? What I'm is not it? sure. Not sure. Know. Get into, uh, hey, did you read about that? They, they, they just caught the three Chinese guys or Japanese guys in California. Yeah. They were they, they were looking for them in New York, so they had to go to California. Yes. We right. had to take trips to find these guys. Right. That's, that's because like a phone call. Call up William William B. Williams, whatever his name is. We need three Chinese guys here. Yeah, you bring them over here. No, we got to get up, put them on a plane, make a trip. The guy goes, well, we're here. We're going to Hawaii. That's the United States. Just kill them over in California. That's all, right? No, they were in California. You call up the Secret Service there and say, get these three guys and bring them here. No, we got to go to, on the way to Hawaii, we go there. What, right. what are you doing? I'm going to Hawaii to suck on a pineapple, so I'll pick up these three guys. What, are you kidding me? He's right. I don't no, know what he said, but he's right. I don't know what he said. Anyway, they do say that they possibly are close to making an arrest in that case. Still. You still on the same case? We fast out. Uh, all right. Well, I don't know. You on another case. He's on another case. We have the judge here in New York. He's on the Chinese case. York, the, we got to make a phone call looking for three Chinese. Three Chinese. Three Chinese. <laughs> the reward for finding suspects in the jogger case here is up to $20,000. Yeah. Now that the shoe store this young woman worked in has yes. matched the $10,000 put up by the police department, they still have no leads in that case. Absolutely. They'll find the guy. They'll find him. Absolutely. They'll find him. Take a, take a couple of days, but they'll find him. But Absolutely. Absolutely. You can't jog, you can't walk, you can't talk, you can't go shopping, you can't do nothing today. Why? Because we're too nice. The niceness got to end. Stop. Cut out the fat with all that waste of money. Get down and get these criminals. Whack them out. Whack them out. That's what you got to do. Well, he's right. Illinois is executed. No one's going to argue. And this what about Illinois now? Yes, they executed someone this morning. You notice Pat, Pat is dressed like a militia member? Yeah, he looks like he's ready to go target. Have friend. you joined the militia? I don't join what? nothing. Right, you're on the... want me in a militia? You're alone. <laughs> Imagine you in a militia. Pat with a gun is a frightening idea. Right. Whack them out. Whack, whack. Pat, you don't own weapons, do you? You don't have any weapons, do you? I don't, I don't touch no. You don't have guns don't, or anything. Uh, you know what happened? Oh. You know I bought that thing, that's electrical thing? The, the uh, zapper? Gun, yeah, you know what gun, I gun. Accidentally, I zapped myself. Did you really? I swear to you. I pressed a button. That is your problem? 
No, you put the hook in, but I nobody told me you put the hook in. That's when a good starts to generate. Oh, I put God. the hook in. I said, I wonder how to feel it. Put it back like a I went about 14 feet down. Really? I, said, I swear to you, I said, am I sick? Am I sick? Why did I you do that? My blood pressure get up. I went on have my, my, my blood pressure. <laughs> you zapped on <laughs> yourself? By accident. I oh, know. my God. And I, left, I read the instructions after. Yeah, you could have killed yourself. No, but I said, uh, it probably don't work. Look, I said, how will I know if it works? <laughs> I guess my arm, and I went 14 feet behind like a jerk. And I went, I went what? My hair, man. I went, oh, my God. Oh, that's yeah. unbelievable. Down, you know, unbelievable. I'm so, I can't I believe it. about this guy well, they worked out in Illinois. At least it worked. <laughs> right. What happened in he Illinois? He murdered three relatives by lacing their food with arsenic. Mm -hmm. Just hours before his death, Charles Albanese issued a statement addressed to the people of the state of Illinois saying, by the time you read this, you will have executed an innocent man. Oh, he's full of it. He was killed by lethal injection. Everybody's in it. Can you imagine? His claim was that some guys came in and poisoned his whole family except him. Slowly. Slowly. <laughs> except him. Every night they ate dinner together. Why don't they poison him? That right. could be his execution. Uh, that's right. They did. injection is Whoa. poison. No, they no, poison no, no, no. I'm talking uh, about slow. Through his food. Oh, like eight, nine days. <laughs> right. See? And let him know it's happening. <laughs> that's right. That's how you there punish you people. You say, give him a choice. That's where it is, baby. You're you going to do it right now. Give it to them. You can you give him a choice. Axe. You hit him with an axe. You hit him with an axe. <laughs> hit the axe. And hit that guy with the axe. You know, you're way too angry. You stun gun yourself one too many times. <laughs> President Clinton. She, really? Oh, my God. Oh my God. Go ahead. That's the funniest story I've ever heard. <laughs> President Clinton has come to the defense of the New York Times and the Washington Post. They, of right. course, published the manifesto of the Unabomber. Yeah, the Unabomber. I wonder what... Uh-oh. Wait a what second. Um, what? Whack him out. Take him on 38th Street. <laughs> to 38th Street and whack him out. Whack him out. In the ground. Make basil. Plant basil. A lot right. of people have criticized him, but President Clinton says he appreciates. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. You don't think they should have printed the Unabomber? I can't get an ad in the whole bone loose. <laughs> right. I don't think I got six pages. They're writing, they're writing in the best paper in the country, Patrick. Eight pages, New York Times. Eight pages. And no one asked you. There's no such place as a Unabomber. I'm telling you, there's no guy. There's no Unabomber. You don't think there is a Unabomber? There's no. You're some jerk turned around and bitch made up the whole thing. And that's the story. There's no Unabomber. Right. These people who turned around and blew up, they blew themselves up. All right, let's hear, what, let's hear what somebody. President Clinton says about yeah, the Unabomber. Uh, not a rocket scientist. <laughs> the federal government's been trying to catch the Unabomber for uh, uh, more than 15 years now. We'll never catch him. And uh, it's obvious that this is a person who strikes uh, infrequently, carefully, with great focus. And for those reasons, uh, I, I believe that publishing the manifesto was warranted. What a boring human being. <laughs> what a boring. Even the, you know, even the Unabomber guy says, I'm going to give up, man. That's I'm going to sleep. That's terrible. The Unabomber. You see, you see, you see where the problem is? We what make, is the problem? We make a guy. We give him a name. We make a guy like who he is. The right. big cheese. And if they lock him up, he'll get, write a book. Right. put him in prison. They'll discuss it. They don't know yet. They'll study. Yeah, they'll study. Right. About yeah. it. He'll be studied. He'll be studied. Well, look, they got the brain of uh, the Dahmer. They kept his brain. The Dahmer. Yeah, I'm like, we there. want to make Dumb. another... What? Jeffrey, you know what Jeffrey Dahmer. They, what are they going to do with the brain? Make a scramble eggs with it? Right. Who cares, you stupid bastard? Put them in a the grave. Put the whole body in the grave. Right. Don't leave this brain out there. I'll look somebody and touch it and become a, 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 another killer. <laughs> right. Someone touches well, a brain. Like Wayne Newton. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, look what we're going through now. Wayne Newton can't get a hit record, so he wants to dig up Pocahontas' body. Leave the woman alone. <laughs> Why do you go to London, you dopey bastard, and dig it up this Indian? What is your business? Mind your business. Then another guy says, I'm going to dig up Jesse James Bone. He's a criminal, you dopey bed. Get Einstein's bones. <laughs> right. Make Study soup. that. Make soup. All right. Let's see. Oh, John Wall is on his way here, huh? Unbelievable. She says, I'm going over there and dig up Pocahontas. Huh? What do you think of the Pope? No You're more. not going to say anything about you the Pope. You can't no. sing no more. What do you think of the Pope? Think? I think he's going to cause traffic problems. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> it's he's traffic. Gonna be, he's gonna Nobody eat. cares. Why are you carrying on? Listen, my wife's a big Catholic. She right. loves to be Catholic. I love her for that. She's wonderful. <laughs> I am not a religious man, but do me a favor. Does she do everything? Does she have beads and everything? I mean, does she have beads? statues? She's got beads. Beads. Really? Does she have, does she have statues? We've got statues in my house. <laughs> really? But it's a funny thing. When you have a candle underneath the statue, the house is never burned down. Really? They never. 
My mother went to Italy, she had the candle, and the kite was going over the candle for six weeks. Nothing burns. Right. Today, with all the asbestos, everything burns. Right. you got to have saints in the place with a candle, nothing to burn down. So you get nervous <laughs> when she lights all well, the candles. Well, I see you get up in the morning, you see God here, you see her. I, you know, I, I, I respect that she has a right to do that, but I'm, you know, I'm surrounded. Right. Does she go to church? I got, I got a statue that stares at you. Does she go to I'm church? Where I look, it's keep staring. Do you have it in your bedroom? Follow her, yeah. And when you make love? Bed. And when you make love? Everything's there. Everything. Statues. Statues. <laughs> Lightning. And oh, you know why I got an impediment in my eye? Boy. There's a candle going flick, 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 flick. The candle. All night long, you go to bed and you pee, and you get the flick, 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 flick. Your wife keeps a candle burning at night? Well, it's there. It's all night long. Wow. It's like that incense. You know the incense? Right. Yeah. Nonsense. I got that. That's Nonsense. It. I'm telling you. So I go to bathroom, and I, you know, I put the light on, and, and the light, I mean, it's, it's terrible because I can't stand candle. Right. Then when it's my birthday, she'll flick, 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 fl
Oh, oh I'm the glad. Comedy of Newt Gingrich. Oh, God, these guys, see, see, now these guys. They, they, no, no, sure. forget Somebody it. wrote that. Yeah. Somebody wrote no, of that. Course. The guy that wrote that ought to be. The guy who wrote that should be fired. Right. That's, I just said that. <laughs> you know, so just follow me now. <laughs> what else is in their news, Rob? Whack them out. Whack them out. Whack them out. Whack them Whack them out. 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 Whack them out
Seinfeld. You know yeah. why? All right. Because it's like Seinfeld except with a vagina. T- right. Same thing. Vagina-fell. I'll tell you one thing. I just started to see his show. He has a good show. It's a good show. It's a good show. And that Jason he... Alexander is super talented. Man. Yeah, good man. I love that guy. I that like guy the show. With the tall hair. What is his name? Michael, yeah, Michael Richards. Richards. He's wow. good. He's oh, great. The fact that some, even, even Jeremy's wonderful. And, you know, it's uh, a good show. Oh, yeah. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, it's a good show. I just started to watch the reruns. And, I, I mean, you know, when I was home in Vegas every night, I didn't want nobody to bother me. I said, this is a funny show. I never it is a good show. Perfect. But Vaginefeld, she does. What does she do? Uh, I don't know. Right. You should go watch that, Pat. Talk about that. Yeah, give us a review. <laughs> All right. Well, now she's got... JFK is doing a media tour. Speaking of tours, he's got this uh, uh-huh. magazine, George, uh-huh. out yeah. uh-huh. that I have, uh, I understand, sold out in a couple of days. Once I guarantee you, fans. the next issue will not Had sell out. Cindy Crawford on the cover with her belly button showing, right. and the article inside was uh, Madonna as president. If I were president, an article by Madonna. What about you? What's the Sharon Stone said about this? Her and the uh, JFK Jr. Never mind that. You know oh, what Madonna said about? me? She says if she was the president, she'd have me deported. And she'd bring back, what's really? his name? And she'd bring back Roman Polanski, that child molester. But she's sick. She's a sicko. Uh, but see, at least they're talking about you. Nobody's talking no, no, about you. No, but that's me. a sick but comment. I think Nobody's JFK ought to bring me. his butt in here. If he can use your name to sell magazines, yeah. he can use this show. And I'll tell you about JFK. Promote. That should be the editor of a dating magazine. But what is wrong? You know what he did? What does he do? Nothing. How could he be an editor? I guarantee you he couldn't even write two pages. Well, he's, he's a, he, he wasn't a good lawyer. He's not an editor. You know what he is? He's a, he's a spokesmodel. He's a stud. Right, a stud. Everybody said they went to bed with him. It's like, it's like a big thing. He's a stud. I'd like but to see him edit. me uh, uh, Ajita, if you will? Right. Ajita. <laughs> no one has Ajita except Pat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is the fact that, you know, here he is. All he is is, you know, the son of somebody. Yeah. Right. And he can get on any show he wants. He's the son of a target. So last night he's a uh, target. <laughs> <laughs> right? Last night right. he's on the oh. NBC News and the CBS <laughs> Evening News. Right. <laughs> Being interviewed by Dan Rather and Tom Brokaw. Because they got nobody else. What do you have? Him. Oh, <laughs> they got nobody else. They don't want nobody that has something to say. They want a guy that looks nice. Everybody wants to jump on his bones. And right. They all go, wow, is he nice? He's JFK's son. And they the did country, a thing. And the country's They did a apart. thing on him on Arts and Entertainment, JFK Jr., right? They did an hour show. They had a biography why? on him. A biography. So why? listen to this. Why? Because who knows why? So anyway, they have a Those biography. The clown should have <laughs> That's right. He's, done more, He's done more. So listen to this. They do a biography on the guy, and what do they find out? That he is the only Kennedy that didn't go to Harvard. You know why? 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 He's not too bright. Of course not. He doesn't have a brain in his head. (laughs) And what did he do? He went to Brown. And you know what he majored in? I bet you don't know what he majored in. Fish. Wrong. Drama. He swears that's not true. Drama. He says he took three theater courses the whole time he the was at Brown. The country is making this kid like he's something special that he don't die or that he don't live. They're making him. The kid has done nothing that we know. How could he be an editor? That his father and his mother were big popular. Do you know how hard you have to work to become an editor of anything? Yeah. To edit anything? A twenty million dollar magazine. You know the you know job you start. Well, out his money is that I'm sure he. Of course not. Money. He wouldn't so put up his put money. Up the money and you know like you said the first thing at uh, uh, the thing. Anyway. He said how are we going to get advertising? Well we'll hire John F Kennedy Jr. We'll pretend he's the editor. Absolutely. Well he's also booked on the Larry King show. Yeah. Well, Larry King, you know, one thing, he I just know, did a appearance on Murphy Brown. Larry King why? gets everybody. You want to know why? Because he's an ass kisser. He's not going to ask a tough him. question. Oh, he got he, he, doesn't get any, he doesn't get anybody upset. You know, I went on that show. You know, when I when I put out my first uh, book, no, no, excuse me, when I put out my first videotape, I went on that show, I said, I'm going to go sell videotapes. I go on that show, and I give out my 1-800 number. You know how many calls I got? Now, I was on an hour, and I gave it out about five times. Guess how many calls I got? Now, he's on around the world, yeah. all over the country and around the world. How many? How many calls do you think I got? Five. Four. I'm a liar for one. Yeah. <laughs> Four calls. So, in other words, in essence, what you're telling me... Nobody watches it. But meanwhile, like, everybody's saying he's number one. Who's counting? He's, he's not number one. Well, he, he is you number... Tell those numbers. No, he, I'll hey, tell you the number. Water. He is number oh, one. I got a 42 long. And he's got... Six and a he is number hey, one. He's got a one. Oh, share. Okay. That's, his, that's like <laughs> Charles Rodin. What? A share of the audience. In oh, other words... The United States? No. Let me tell you... So, yeah, the United States. Let me tell you what it is. When he is on... There is a plus or minus error of one. Okay. That means they could be off by one point. Uh-huh. So if he has a one rating, you know what that means? He's got nobody. He could have zero. But why is he still on? Why do the sponsors sponsor Because him? they have nothing else to sponsor. That it's a safe show. Sense, Howie. That don't make any sense. They don't get a lot of money for that I show. I put up my money to give a guy who can't bring in $7 worth of business. That don't make any sense. No, they put up he because they don't care. Don't you need to say something? And a sponsor like McDonald's doesn't care if people listen to the show. They just, as long as it's safe. Oh. You they don't care if you have any viewers because it's a big corporation. Oh, listen, this is your business. I don't know about that. Believe me, I know. Am I right? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> Who this? Cash app, dollar sign, milk, crate, marauder. Uh-huh. Venmo, at milk. 
crate, marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard.